What is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new vlog. Thank you for joining me again. First off, I wanna say thank you to everybody who offered your support in the last vlog. So many people from all over the world bought our brand new merch. It's really touching that you guys wanna help us out in building the nursery and we're very excited to be building that ASAM brand around the world. So for those of you who didn't get any merch, if you wanna to go to bjornbjornhome.com slash merch, you can pick it up there. There's hoodies, t-shirts, sweatshirts, the whole gamut. A lot of folks seem to have some trouble figuring out how to order hoodies. So at the very end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that on my site. So stick around for that as well. The second thing is that I got the drywall all put up. I got a lot of interesting comments about that from the last video. Got a lot of comments about not putting any insulation behind the wall. Guys, it's just a photo backdrop for right now. Eventually this will come down, we'll put up full insulation. We're gonna cover all the walls in here with drywall so it's gonna look much nicer, be totally insulated, be ready to rock and roll for the winter. For the time being though, this is what I needed it for was to start shooting for the advanced course. That brings me to the next thing I've been working on. All this week I've been working on the advanced course, filming, got a lot of trees done, ready to rock and roll, so we're good. We're on track for the release this coming May of the first half of that course. So I'm very excited about that. I'm gonna show you guys a few of those trees that we've been working on, but first I gotta fly to New York for a few days to do some work on a private collection. So let's head out. All right, it is nice and bright and early in the morning here. I am in New York, not too far outside of New York City. I'm gonna be working here for the next couple of days on a private collection. A fella named John wrote me and asked me if I could come up and work on his Japanese maples. We actually stopped by his house last night after he picked me up from the airport and check him out. Fantastic stuff. Many of these trees are actually in Sutin's collection. If any of you guys know Sutin, great artist from up in the Boston area. He got these trees from Sutin over the years and they're in need of some maintenance and some updates. So I'm gonna go over to his place today and tomorrow and we're gonna get those trees back in tip top shape. So let's head over there and check it out. Good morning, my man. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing all right. So what I'm gonna do with this tree is cut back all of the unnecessary branches. It's got a lot of thick, heavy branches on it because it hasn't been cut back very hard in a long time. All right, we are back from New York and we're getting back into filming for the advanced course. I wanna show you guys some of the trees that I've already done thus far. A lot of these trees are really killer plants, so I'm excited to show them to you and show you what's gonna be in the advanced course. So the first tree that I worked on for the course is this massive Rocky Mountain Juniper. Did some huge heavy bends in it, removing dead wood, putting a backbone, a wire, bending that heavy branch down to position, really changing up the entire structure of the tree. So super pumped about that one.
second tree was another Rocky Mountain juniper. This is actually my favorite tree that I have in my personal collection here in the States right now. The tree's probably 400, 500 years old, easily. Absolutely killer piece of material. I've shown it a few times in past vlogs, but this is the first time I've actually been able to work on it. The whole point of using this tree in the advanced course is to show how you can have a tree from the mountains with good bone structure and build that into a fantastic bone tie in a very short amount of time. The next tree in the series was this trident maple. That tree you've seen in past vlogs as well, but we did a major cutback to it, so I think that's gonna turn out pretty good for this series too. And then I'm working on a few more deciduous projects this week, so more Japanese maples. I've got this Styrax japonica right here behind me that's the next project in the series. It's a Japanese snowbell. So we're gonna be doing some refinement, silhouette work, wiring, and discussing how to move this tree forward into the future. So again, be on the lookout for this advanced course. We're gonna be making a lot more announcements about it coming up to the release in May of 2018. We're actually doing a two-part release. So there'll be one release that comes out in May, and then another release that comes out in September of 2018. So I'll keep you guys posted on all of that. That brings us to the end of this vlog, but I'm gonna show you guys before we sign off how to order a hoodie on my site. So stick around for that if you're interested in buying a hoodie. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Take care.